But most people say, even if they don't entirely agree with us, they respect the stand we've taken, that our members have taken, and they, they understand that somebody's put in a slightly different argument to the professional politicians, which I think is a bit of a shame. And it's a shame that Labour and others can't show that they're distinct from the kind of consensus that's got us into this trouble where working people are struggling. Uh, the cost of living crisis seems to be ignored by the political class to a certain extent. And you put everyone in that? Labour yes, I do. I don't think Labour's doing enough. We will be critical of Labour when they don't do the right stuff and we'll be supportive on the occasions that they do. But at the minute, I think Keir Starmer and his team have got to show some clear water, some clear red water between themselves and the Daily Mail and the Telegraph and themselves and the, the Conservatives. And at the minute, many people can't spot the difference. And that's a shame for somebody who's probably as, as talented as Keir Starmer is. He's got to show that he's on the side of working people and progressive politics. And I don't think we're seeing that at the moment. Why, why don't you think you're seeing it? Do you think it's because he is focused on winning the election or because he just well, doesn't really believe it? He's got five what are they, missions. Nobody knows what they are. Nobody understands them. Nobody could remember the five missions. He should be saying something about workers' rights. He should be saying stuff about funding the NHS, National Care Service, looking after people who are struggling in the housing market, council houses for the masses, uh, controlling rents, uh, addressing all sorts of stuff about what's going to happen in the imbalance in our society. He's not saying any of that. He won't dare mention the word socialism. I want to hear that word mentioned frequently. And I want to see a redistribution of wealth in our society. Because there are a lot of very wealthy people and there are too many very poor people. And now the people in the middle are being squeezed as well with rents and mortgages skyrocketing. He doesn't seem to be on the side of the people of this country. I think he could be on the side of the people of this country, but he's got to show it to us before the election. OK, there you go. That's a rallying call, uh, if ever you heard one. Uh, Nick Lynch, thank you very much. Good to have you on the programme today.